Pina coladas to finish things off. If you like pina coladas. <laughs> I feel like we already did that. Oh. And getting caught in the rain. Hello and good morning, everyone. Today is bound and determined to be a good day because I'm wearing my cheetah print. Cheetah or leopard? Let's redo that. <laughs> Today is bound to be a good day because I am wearing animal print. That always makes me feel really awesome. Kids are in school right now. Brexy, what are you making? Um, I'm making a page for daddy. That's really cute. He's gonna love it. If you um, want, whenever you're done, we can print it, okay? Okay. Kruby's in class over here, and of course, Lazzy is with him because Lazzy just loves Kruby. <laughs> they like torment each other all the time. <laughs> You can shoo him off the counter or the <laughs> During school, Laz constantly torments crew, sits on him, paws at his keyboard, whatever it is, he constantly sits next to him. Mr. Rye Guy is right here in class right now. I've got them separated because it can get a little noisy having both of them in class and having me talk too. Today is Cinco de Mayo. What are we making for dinner? I don't know. Ugh, this is awkward. We're just gonna wing it today. I love Mexican food. I always have tons of stuff in the fridge and pantry and freezer, so we'll come up with something great. Gotta talk to the kids and see what they want. Happy Cinco de Mayo. How Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're just gonna get this morning going along here, get kids through school. I'm working on a few things here, trying to get merch finalized. All right, Brexy, let's see it. Oh, you gave it to him already? Look how good. You did awesome. Isn't that so sweet? Daddy's gonna love it. Yeah. You out of breath from running up the stairs? Uh -huh. <laughs> taking a break from school. Just kidding, we're not taking a break from school. Brexy's done with school. The boys are still in school. I'm taking a break from being Mrs. Bingham. Brexy is helping me make cookies. So we're making cake mix cookies today. They're one of our favorites because there's so many different varieties. What's extra special about this? I am making this recipe with Brexy for my own channel, Mindy's Best. It will come out on Friday. I've tried really hard to do one video per week and I kind of wanted to focus on spending individual time with the kids and so I thought that might be a fun idea to make something with them or do a project with them and today we are cooking so I asked Rexy if he wanted to cook something with me and he chose cookies and specifically cake mix cookies because they're only three ingredients and they're super easy. And guys we all win because at the end of this epic video we all get cookies. <laughs> And these are not just regular cookies. These are Funfetti cookies with blue and pink sprinkles in them. It's like, kind of reminds you of cotton candy, but sorry, I mean, they don't taste like cotton candy. And rolled in sugar. And rolled in sugar. And ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> we have just wrapped up the amazing cooking segment with Brexy Doodle and Mindy's Best over on Mindy's Best. It's gonna be posted on Friday this week, so make sure you check that out. You guys, a lot of fun stuff going on over there. Some one-on-one -on -one time with the kids, and Brex was absolutely adorable. So sweet and tender to his mom. But that gets our dessert taken care of for the night, so the dessert is done, although we may add to that as we continue to build out this theme because we've decided that tonight we're going all in on Cinco de Mayo. I had a buddy post this on Instagram, and it made me laugh. I have to quote it exactly. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. This is a Cinco de Mayo on Taco Tuesday, you guys, and he posted this. It made me laugh out loud. It says, Picture, if you will, a world where Cinco de Mayo falls on a Taco Tuesday only to be ruined by a virus ironically called Corona. I mean, I'm sorry, that is like mind-blowing, mind-twisting, that is just wild. So it is Cinco de Mayo today. We're gonna be celebrating with some Taco Tuesday because it is also Taco Tuesday. Yes. We're gonna do it with Corona. Not the drink, but just with the virus going around the world. So here's the deal, Taco Tuesday going down, but we're not just gonna do, you know, grab a taco and go. We started planning this and Mindy's like, and this, and this, and this. So it is all in Taco Tuesday. So we're gonna do chicken, beef, and pork tacos, yes. all three. Okay. Or we're gonna use leftovers. Yeah. Leftover pork, leftover chicken, and then fresh beef. Okay. Yes, let's do it. So we're, we're doing leftovers, guys. You gotta do with what you got here. We're gonna do crunchy tacos, soft shell tacos. We're gonna do Mexican street store and salsa. And pina coladas. If you like pina coladas. I don't want any rain, but I do want the pina coladas. We're gonna do guacamole, some chips, dip, sangria to drink, possibly, maybe horchata. No, we just said pina colada. We changed our minds on all those. We've had a lot of ideas floating around, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what we were going with. We do have these amazing cake mix cookies. I don't know if there's like They're another. We, we could try and like make churros tonight. I don't know. It might be excessive. Yes, you guys, it is going down full blown Cinco de Mayo in the house today. So we're going to get ready for that. Meal prep, dinner prep underway very early today, you guys. You can tell we're a little bit excited about it. Happy Cinco de Mayo to all of you out there. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. What do you say? Happy Feliz. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Come on, I'm doing it right here. Now that my mouth is watering, I'm gonna go grab the meat from the freezer. We're the... going to work on a special video that might be coming out in a few days because we might be hitting a big mile. Maybe, maybe. I don't want to jinx it. We haven't said a single word about it, but guys, we are 2,000 away from 900K, so I'm trying to put a little something, something together for that because big milestone, but also there's not a lot you can do while you're stuck at home, so we're gonna commemorate and celebrate in a little different way. Anyways, working on that. But basically, like the rest of the day is just spent killing time until we get to eat until our dinner. Until we get to eat dinner. So <laughs> let's start that. 
Mom was telling me apparently we leave this stuff set up for the Disneyland adventure here in the neighborhood all week. Bibi Dubai Boutique will be here for the remainder of the week. Some of the stuff blew off. We put it back together early this morning. Holding strong for the most part, guys. The streamers didn't come down. That was miraculous. If you didn't see that video, we transformed the entire neighborhood into the Disneyland theme park. Each street took a different land in Disneyland, and the neighborhood all got out and walked their kids around Disneyland last night. Tons of fun. Go check out that video. We are setting up right now for a fiesta like you've never seen before. Fiesta is going down here in the Bingham household, Cinco de Mayo style. Mom is setting it up inside. It's fantastic. We are killing time out here. What that usually means lately. It's a lot of front yard action. It's all we got available to us. We don't really have much of a backyard. Hi, Brexy. <laughs> How are you? Good. We get out the bike drums. We just chill in the front yard. Kind of feels like Groundhog Day, guys. A lot of stuff on repeat here. But uh, doing the best we can. Make it fun. Make it original. Make it interesting. Just enjoy this time together. Do the diagonal. It is party time, and by party time, I mean fiesta time. <laughs> Little Cinco de Mayo going down in the Bingham house. Now, guys, Cinco de Mayo on a Taco Tuesday. I feel like the world is just coming together and giving us a gift. A little presente. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to throw down some tacos tonight. Yes, tacos, all varieties, flavors, sizes, shapes, and colors. Whoa. Mexican street corn, guacamole. It should be a lot of fun. Guys, the you. full fiesta, full spread. I mean, we even have limes. Also have taken up the dinner situation to the fiesta level. Mom has little individual pinatas stuffed to the brim with candy at every place setting. This is a fun fiesta. Cinco de Mayo action here in the house. We are bringing the kids in from outside. We're gonna get this fiesta underway. We're gonna start cooking those tacos, and it's time to party. Brandon is up getting the kids ready for bed. We usually like to have the kids come in and get themselves ready for bed before dinner. That's what he's doing. I'm making my Mexican street corn salsa. It's my favorite and I was like so frustrated I could not find the recipe and I was like, why can't I find this recipe? Well, that's because I put it in the beef, chicken, and pasta binder. Does that make sense? I'm just gonna make it. My Mexican street corn salsa is super easy. Corn, jalapeno, chili powder, lime juice, and cottage cheese, and a little bit of salt, and cilantro. Man, <gasps> gotta make this. I went and made sure to get a really fun menu for the kids for dinner. I even picked up some some of these orange sodas, colorful and stuff for the table. So I thought that that'd be fun. I'm gonna grab my cilantro, I'm gonna grab my cottage of cheese and make this salsa up. It's like my favorite thing. As mom puts on the finishing touches to the Mexican street corn salsa, I gotta say, it's been kind of fun with a couple of the recipes today. Been able to update the blog with some fresh picks because mom made the cake mix cookies earlier today. We got some fresh picks for that to put on the blog with hobbycom.com. And now she's taking a fresh pick of this because it was on her old countertop. So as long as we're making it, might as well update the pictures. Might as well update the picture. Freshen up that blog, you guys. This is hands down one of my and the entire family and almost anybody I know's personal favorite is the Mexican street corn salsa. Fantastic for any meal. I mean, we'll just make it for fun just to dip chips in in the middle of the day. Delicious. <laughs> so good. On the blog with hobbycom.com. Now going to have a fresh and an updated picture. Cinco de Mayo Fiesta table. Table, I'm just talking like this. The Cinco de Mayo Fiesta table is set. La mesa is set. Estoy con hambre. Y ahora? I don't know what you're saying. Nos comemos. I think I make up Portuguese and Spanish all the time, but we're gonna eat. The table is set. I'm hungry. Let's get the kids down here to eat some delicious tacos on a Taco Tuesday. Cinco de Mayo style. Vamonos. We have tonight one of the most epic Taco Tuesdays in the history of Taco Tuesdays because it falls on a Cinco de Mayo. I might throw out a little bit of Espanol throughout the night tonight, so. Estesia prontos. I'm making this up. I can't wait. How many people correct your bad stuff? Be ready. Is that okay? But anyways, tonight we have traditional beef tacos like you're used to us having. We have some ranch chicken tacos with some chickeny ranchy stuff. We have pulled pork tacos from leftover from Five Star Barbecue. But more than that, Rexy Doodle, we have hard shell tacos, soft shell bowls. I'm gonna use these because of and hint of lime hard shell tacos. What? Hint of lime, Brexin. On top of that, of course, we've got your traditional toppings. We've got cheese, we've got some lettuce, we've got the Mexican street corn salsa, which we've talked a lot about, which everybody loves. We've got your guac, your salsa, Fiesta Ranch, it's delicious. We've got fun, we were trying to find jarritos. Wouldn't be jarritos, guys, it's jarritos. Jarritos! Anyways, we were trying to find that, we couldn't find it, so we ended up with Stewart's orange cream. It has nothing to do with Cinco de Mayo, but it's delicious. We have mini pinatas at every single place setting, stuffed to the brim with candy. You can bust those open later for dessert. The only thing left to do is delicious comida. Is to eat it. Is to comer. Eat it. A little less than an espanol. How do you know how to speak yeah. this? 
Portuguese. Eu não sei. Eu, eu não sei. Mix up Portuguese and Spanish all the time. Yeah, I also speak Portuguese, which is really, really close. To Very Spanish. close to Spanish. When I got back from my mission, in fact, I'll just throw this in really fun. I got back from my mission. I served a mission in Brazil, northeast coast of Brazil. When I got back, my family went to Cancun in Mexico, and I could completely talk to like everybody, no problem. Absolutely no problem. That's whatsoever. so funny. Now, like, that was 20 years ago, so it has faded quite a bit. Now I only speak poquito. Okay. So. <laughs> My Spanish from when Riley was a little kid, he watched Handy Manny every single day. Like the Vados, I'm like, Handy Manny! Poquito. We would, we would learn a little bit of Spanish by watching Handy Manny when Riley was a kid. I remember Maddie folding clothes, counting to 100 in Spanish, and I was like, Maddie, can you sing to 100 in Spanish? That is so cool. What a fun memory, you guys. Let us eat. I don't know what the word is in Spanish for yeet, but let's do it. Phenomenal, delicious, unreal Taco Tuesday. That was worthy of a Cinco de Mayo fiesta. Now, we have one very important thing. We gotta have dessert, you guys. Gotta have dessert every meal. Candy! For this one, we gotta do a little bit of work to get that dessert, you guys. Your dessert stuffed inside these pinatas. <laughs> wow. Candy, candy! Ready, set, ah! I don't think the objective is to murder it, although you do beat it with a bat normally, so this is actually pretty tame. Just smash it up and down on the table. Rexton, can I give you a little hand? Oh, Ryan, I got it open. <laughs> <laughs> Rexton's working smarter, not harder over here. He's yeah, just ready? working harder. to admit, maybe one of the most fun dessert ideas we've ever had. I know, that was fun. Individual pinatas. Oh, we didn't do it. We're doing it right now. Oh, we are? We're gonna make virgin pina coladas. Pina coladas to finish things off? That's what I'm talking about, because I was a little bummed I didn't get a pinata. If you like pina coladas. <laughs> I feel like we already did that. Oh. <laughs> and getting caught in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Mom fulfilling her lifelong dream of being a bartender right now. <laughs> Serving us up some ice cold pina coladas to finish off the Cinco de Mayo fiesta. I think we should go back and do like a counter for how many times I've said Cinco de Mayo and fiesta today. You ready for some pina coladas without getting caught in the rain? Come on over. Time to have a nice bebida. Let's beber this pina colada. What do pina coladas remind you of? Anybody? Hawaii. Beach. Yep, Hawaii, the last beach, pina colada cruise. I had was on Castaway Key on our oh, Disney cruise. That's right. That's absolutely right. This, bringing back a little done. bit of tropical paradise on the Cinco de Mayo. Bong. I love pineapple. I would just Hawaii. eat them whenever they're big. My three favorite fruits. Banana, watermelon, and pineapple. All in a pina colada? Uh-huh. Hazy, try and say this. Say delicioso. 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 <laughs> You can <laughs> laugh before you can scare him. Oh, that's why you turned the camera off. <laughs> Let's 
time to bring this Cinco de Mayo fiesta to a fin. Is that how you say end? I don't know. Fin. To a fin. Guys, we just want to say gracias for being here today. We have really enjoyed gracias. being together, are we? <laughs> She's saying gracias, gracias. Gracias. Besame, besame. Oh, that means giving me kisses. She wants a kiss. Besame mucho. The only way I know that is because on our honeymoon, there was a lady that when we went to Mexico, we went to Cancun, and there was a lady, I was trying to buy a towel, and she was just like, I don't know, she wanted to like bargain with me on the prices, and then she turned to Brandon, and she's like, besame, and I was like, what did she just say to you? He's like, she just told me to kiss her to get a better deal. And so I did, and we got it for you half off. I'm not. just kidding. I did not. Besame, besame right now. Besame mucho. And then, and then she and then she took me away, and then she brings me back to my mother. <laughs> wow, that is quite. Wow, a story. that was the story of Hazy's abduction, guys. So there it is. All right. Oh, okay. So guys, we're wrapping it up in Tomorrow, Hazy's room. Hazy's room is going to be emptied and getting ready for the next day when her new bedroom set comes. Your new bedroom set comes the day after tomorrow. One more sleep. Two more sleeps. We're gonna close it up from here. Hope you all had an amazing Cinco de Mayo. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Gracias. Nos vemos. Gracias. 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 I will say this, guys. She's been watching a lot of YouTube bueno. kids in Spanish, so she might be teaching us something right now that we don't know. We love you guys so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Hasta la vista. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. You okay? <laughs>